Hey guys, Jeb here, and I've got a new thing to show off coming out of Logitech. It has just released out of beta, and it's called Mixline. If you ever wanted to have a mixer and you either couldn't afford one or you'd rather have one virtual, this is the solution to it, and you can actually do a lot of things with it. So I'm gonna go over a couple different things on what you can do with it, starting from beginner to like very advanced, whether you're just gaming and wanna mix your audio on the fly, to if you're recording and you'd like to separate tracks, all the way up to if you've got a dual PC. Now coming out of beta, they've added a little bit more customizations. They've added a feedback box. They've added where you can actually organize everything on your screen so that you can just easily move it around and the line coloring is added too so you can make things out. Overall, making it a little bit better on the UI and the design so it's just much more uh, user friendly than it was before. Uh, they've got 22 languages and if you want to be able to use the entire program, you need to make a Logitech ID account. I'll leave a link down in the description to the website if you want to go ahead and grab it. It also helps with the uh, G Hub so you can get everything merged into one and it's kind of like universal across. So once you do that, you'll have access to as many inputs and outputs as you want. If you don't have a Logitech ID, you can only get two inputs and two outputs. Uh, if you want to just play around with it first before you do that, that'd be recommended. And then if you want to use the whole program, go ahead and make you an ID and you can customize a lot. Of note, this video is brought to you by Logitech. This is a sponsored video. So thank you Logitech for sponsoring this. Now, the way you go about doing this, as you'll see on screen here, I'm leaving some space over to the side because I'm going to be bringing in different attributes. Uh, we'll start off by adding different inputs. Uh, you have Discord, you have Firefox, Google Chrome, Call of Duty. You have many, many different things. And then you also have the output over here on the right. Now, let's just say you are a standard gamer. You're just wanting to easily adjust your audios on the fly. Maybe be able to keep your music dialed in the way you want to without having to deal with the Windows mixer because it's very unintuitive. Let's start off with just adding your output. We're just going to go ahead and go over here, add our A50Xs in. And then the input. We're going to start with Discord. You're going to be playing with friends. We got this one here. Of note, there is one thing you do have to do if you are going to load Discord into MixSign. You're gonna to have to come over here to voice and video, come over to output device and make sure speakers MixLine is selected. Now it might trip up a little bit, so you need to switch it, say for example, from speakers MixLine to a different one, exit the program, go back into voice and video and then reset it back. I had to do that once or twice and it solved the issue. Uh, let's see, we've got Call of Duty up and running. You're gonna be playing Call of Duty. And then we are going to add in, let's add in Google Chrome because you're gonna be listening to YouTube videos while you do this, right? Now that you have a couple of inputs that you wanna manage, it's actually really simple moving from here. Just sit here, grab the plus sign and just drag it on over. This will engage all of these audio sources to your output. So being you're gonna be wearing your A50Xs, like so, just drag these bad boys over. And when you do so, you notice something else is gonna pop up. You now have a volume slider. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this down. So it's gonna be a bit more quieter. Now let's get a video going in Google Chrome so we can properly show what's going on. And we got our boy Drifter over here. So in the background, you can actually see that Call of Duty is playing. Uh, let me go ahead and bring that over to the screen so you see it is up. We're going to go ahead and get Drift playing as well. To ready to stream you'll be able to hear We're going to go ahead and, and turn these volumes stream. down. So they're different levels. Call of Duty, we don't need to hear the music, so we can turn it down low. Drift, we can have a little bit louder. And as you can see, this is a completely virtual mixer. It's as simple as just assigning the inputs where you want them to go. And from here, you can easily adjust. So if you're running a, a dual monitor setup, uh, you can easily have this over on the left. If all of a sudden your buddies in Discord are way too loud or you need to clutch in COD, you can jack the rates way up. You can turn your boys down to where they're barely audible so you can focus. And then you can completely mute anything going on in the different uh, tabs you go on, whether you can pull it down this way or you just hit this button right here and just completely mute it. You can do it either way. That way you can hyper focus. Okay, so now we're going to step it up a notch. You've decided you're going to get into content creation, but you want to be able to do this and control different volume levels in your OBS recording or your stream output. So there is a way to go about doing this. Like if you want to listen to music, but you don't want your stream to hear it. Well, there's settings that you can do in Mixline and in OBS Studio 
to both prevent the stream from hearing it or the VOD saving it on Twitch and separating your audio tracks that when you go back later into, say, Adobe Premiere and you want to just completely remove your voice if you're just doing raw gameplay or your teammates' voices just to have gameplay audio, you can. It'll give you all the options. And this will also be better in post when you're trying to get your audio levels perfectly balanced. Like you're trying to get your teammates to be exactly the same level as your voice while keeping the gameplay a little bit lower so it doesn't blow you out so people can hear what's going on. Let's step it up and show you how to do that. First off, we need to add two more outputs. Yes, we have what's going to your head, but now we need to add a mix line stream and mix line record. Now there's one more thing you're gonna actually need to connect to both Mixline Stream and Mixline Record because you want your stream and you want the recording to have your voice. That way they hear what you're gonna do and you can balance it later. Let's go ahead and add in the A50X microphone. And yes, you can have just the headphones as the output as well as having the microphone as a designated input. So simply grab this bad boy over here, attach it to Mixline Stream and Record because these are all virtual audio cables. We're creating essentially new channels as microphones that when we go into OBS, it will record it. Okay, now once you have your OBS settings open, there's a couple things that you're going to need to do before we're actually able to split those out. You're gonna to need to come into audio, and of course, your different audio channels are here. You see the desktop audio is A50X game, but we need to set up the different microphones here. So audio one is definitely going to be, say, your A50X mic it's going to be using that while you talk. Number two will be, say, Mixline Stream. That's what's going to be sent out to the stream. Pretty uh, self-explanatory. And then we're going to do Mixline Record as the third auxiliary audio. That's going to help split things out. And once you have that set up, make sure you click Apply. Click OK. Of note, if you do plan on listening to music, whether it be Spotify or through your browser, and you want to manage this, make sure it is not only going to your head, because, yeah, you want to listen to the music, but for say Mixline stream, we're gonna send it out to the stream, but like Twitch won't save the VOD. Basically you grab this, stick it on over here to the Mixline stream, and it's locked in. Now, you don't wanna put it on record because that's what we're gonna be using to have the clean recording later. All right, let's get back into the different audio settings. We're gonna go ahead and set it up to where Twitch will not save the music on your VOD. Your viewers will be able to hear it, but it won't save it. So coming over here to stream, make sure the Twitch VOD chat is selected. Make sure it is set on number two, audio track number one for top side. That completely clears this, you're good to go. Now the next thing you're gonna wanna do if you're wanting to have multiple audio tracks so that you have like your mic in one track, gameplay, or then uh, Discord or friends in another track, you're gonna have to go into the advanced audio properties by just right clicking down here on one of the volume mixers. Just click on, right click on that and it'll bring you to this screen. And you're going to want to set it up to be like this. So your main mic is going to be on one and two and three. Then you're going to do uh, the next set, which should be mix line stream on one, two and four. And then for mic slash audio three, you're going to want to do uh, one and five. Now, when you do that, it's going to actually create a file with three different audio tracks that look like this right here on your screen. You'll have one for microphone. You will have one for your buddies in discord and you'll have one for everything else. It breaks it all down. This helps you manipulate the audios, get the levels up, and just gets your video to be a little bit more perfect with that post editing. All right, so we've set it up that if you're just gaming and wanna mix it, you know how to do it. Now we've also set it up for OBS. If you're streaming and want multiple tracks or to play music, we've shown you how to do that too. Now, are you running a two PC setup and you're mixing everything on your main PC and you just wanna send it out to the streaming PC? so that it's an issue. So say you've already got this built, right? You can actually send it to the streaming PC. Are you running an Elgato capture card, for example? So I was messing around and I found this out. So if you're using a second PC and it has an Elgato capture card in it, and you have the sound capture software on your main PC, you can actually mix all the audio on your main system and just port it out to the capture card like you would your normal Call of Duty gameplay, for example. And it's actually simple to do. Just make sure to hear your gameplay. You're gonna go to your headset. We'll be using the A50X. And then where are we sending all of this audio? Well, it's going to go to the capture card that you see. To get it to go there, you're gonna to have to add one more output. And we are looking for the 4K60 Pro Mark II because that is what I have in my rig. You're gonna go ahead and click on this bad boy and it will take all of your audio from this system and port it 
to your secondary system through the capture card. Everything is being mixed together and it just makes it that much more simpler. Now, the way I do a two PC build is actually a bit more complicated, but it actually creates a more interesting thing that you can do. Let's get into that. Okay, so I slimmed this down. I like to do all my audio mixing on my streaming PC, but say for example, you only have for your gaming rig, one monitor and your system, and you have nothing else but your A50X headset connected. So you're able to hear just the game and that's what you're focusing on, but you wanna hear the alerts from your streaming PC. We can kind of inverse it. Now, there's only really one or two things you have to do. One, you have to have a 3.5 millimeter cable or output cable so you can use it on both PCs. What you're gonna do is go to add output and you're gonna wanna select the Realtek HD second output. So like that is the 3.5 millimeter cable that is coming out of your streaming PC into your gaming PC. And all you do is you're just gonna do like you did with the first one and just go ahead and connect it up, give it some outputs. I know none of these are gonna be you know precise, but follow along with me. You're porting it out through the speakers, through your line out. Now I would recommend using the line out on the back of your streaming PC. It's gonna have LN out and it looks kind of like a greenish tint color around it. And then on your main PC, where you might wanna be using your A50X microphone to talk to people in game, but there is no Discord, there's nothing else. Maybe you're just worried about security or stuff popping up on stream. It is literally just for gameplay. You'll be able to hear the alerts if you simply come over here and you've installed Mixline, all you have to do is add one input and it will pull all of your audio from your streaming PC to your gaming PC. And if they're plugged in, all you have to do is select high definition audio device line in, grab it and connect it to your headset. Everything from your streaming PC that you want to be pulled over here. Now remember, you selected what you wanted to send out. So what comes in is the only thing you're gonna hear. So if you wanna hear alerts, you're good to go. If you even wanna have music coming from your streaming PC to your gaming PC, you're good to go. So this has gone from just, you know, you're a gamer wanting to use a mixer to, oh, hey, I'm streaming and a content creator, I wanna break out audio, to very convoluted dual PC stuff. Um, this software is actually very uh, intense with what you could do with it. And I would highly recommend you give it a shot. You can download it for free. And if you want two inputs and two outputs without having to log in, you'll get that right off the bat. But if you create a free Logitech ID, you'll be able to do unlimited with what you want. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. If you somehow managed to pull off a combination that I haven't thought of, please also let me know. Drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. Have fun balancing your audio.